you heard about this a few weeks back. A retired Rochester, New York police officer running 50 marathons in 50 days through eight states. Brett Soborowski told us he ran to raise money for the family of and to bring honor to fallen comrade Tony Mazurkowitz. I just knew I wanted to do something. I wanted, I wanted somehow to make a difference and show his family and to honor his sacrifice. Brett hoped to run into the city with a cohort of 500. Almost a thousand showed up. A touching tribute, no question. A moving moment. But what of the slain officer? What was his story? The consensus is he was a little crazy for dating because he's younger than I am. And he was 24. Well, he must have been a force he could not resist. Lynn had two kids when she and Tony married. Then they had two more. How proud were you to be married to a police officer? I was proud to be married to him. It didn't matter what he did. Mm. He was amazing. Described by all as a super dad, Maz, as everyone called him, cared for his grandkids every Tuesday. He had Papa Tuesdays. I got yelled at last week by one of them because I can't cut waffles like Papa did. A super dad and an exemplary cop. Citations and awards filled his record. 29 years on the job. Rochester Police Force members Kenny Caniglio, Kelly Lusk, and Michael DePaola filled us in. Tony's a cop's cop. As far as accolades go for policemen, there's no higher accolade than to call somebody a cop's cop. And that's Tony all day long. Yeah, you 100% want to be around him. Made you a better cop, made you a better person. He was a rock in the unit, a mentor, a leader, and he was hilarious. He absolutely was, yes. Hands down, the funniest person you'd ever meet. How much do you miss this guy? A ton. Tremendously. At least one male approached the officers and opened fire on them. Maz had for years been part of the Rochester Police Tactical Unit. Difficult, dangerous work. Yet Lynn was certain Maz would always make it home. It never, never, ever, ever occurred to me he wouldn't come home. Did you have a sign about that someplace? Yes. What did the sign say? I'll see you in the morning. It was on the door or on the wall right there. Does it seem real? No, not a minute. I still wait for him. I, it seems like it's been forever and it's almost a year. No, it doesn't seem real because we still wait for him. I haven't moved his slippers or his backpack and I probably never will. That run into the city, all those marathons, Brett Soborowski raised over $100,000. He's the kindest man, genuinely. But he's crazy. <laughs> I mean, he's insane. Nobody does that. 50 marathons. Yeah. yeah. He's insane. The money raised, the continuing compassion and companionship of her husband's fellow officers, well, it's all helped Lynn a lot. What do you want people to know about Tony? I wanted them to remember his name. I want them to know that police officers are so much more than the uniform they wear. Their wives, their husbands, their sisters, their daughters, their sons, their fathers, their papas. They're not just the uniform. Again, that was NBC's Harry Smith. Now, the eight states for Maz running challenge ran from April 23rd through June 14th. The final three miles of his run was open to the public in Rochester, where runners ended at the Hall of Justice Plaza for a special ceremony and celebration, not only in honor of Brett's journey, but for the man who inspired the whole thing, Tony Mazurkowitz. <laughs>